comer. Oh, no, no, no. This wasn't forecast. This was not forecast. Anyway, here we go. Welcome back everybody. Welcome to Welcome to Wales. Today we're on a, a wild camp on the summit, possibly, of Mo Shabod. I think the plan. We'll get to the summit. Clean that bit so you can see me. We'll uh, get to the summit, check out the uh, conditions, see what the wind's like. I'm in the solo today. Worst case, if it's too, uh, too windy, we'll drop back down, find somewhere a bit more uh, sheltered. But for now, we'll just make his way through this boggy nightmare. Off to the summit. Come on. Let's see what we can find. Next time, I'm not coming. <laughs> Easy. I'm out with Phil. What else? What else should I expect? Oh, man. Oh, give me five minutes, mate. I'm ghost. Back out the views. Look at that. 360 degree views. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And whack. Oh, I'm not mad. Nearly there. This is tough. How's it? There you go. Bit of snow. Can't be far off the summit now. Please God. We can't be far. This is grim. Grim. Tough. Windy. Grey. Wet. 
This is wrong. Let's just hope we can find a pitch for these tents. Anyway, come on. Onwards and upwards. Hello, y'all. I'm not sure you can see. Phil's just approaching the summit. No shell up. There you go. This is absolutely bonkers. Come oh, on, man. Absolutely blow the girl. Let me back. Right, we'll go and touch this to it. And we'll call it a do. And we'll figure out what we're doing with these tents. Oh, my, my, my. Well, there you go. One summit done. No shabbat. 2,800 summit feet, whatever it is. I'll stick it on screen to exactly what it is. I have no idea. Yeah. This is insane! Unbelievable! Anyway, come on! Job done! Let's see what comes next! Oh, right, that's us in the tent, pitched as quick as I could. I need to get out of this for cold, wet, drizzly, grey rain. But yeah, right, we're in, tent's up. I've uh, unloaded the bags. First job is ever, and I'll get out of these wets, get my dry clothes on, and then we'll jump onto the, uh, onto the old broom making. Out of the dry clothes, out of dry clothes, out of the wet clothes, into the dries. First brew. Oh, God, it's good. That is good. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Let's have a look at. Uh, let's check out what's going on out there. Nope. Still, great grey clag. That's Phil over there, and he's snuck back a scorpion. Hopefully, oh, we'll be able to get out of here later on, and uh, I'll show you around. Hopefully, the way the forecast does it says we're meant to have clear nights tonight. Wind drops to literally nothing in the morning, so we're looking for. Nice crisp clear skies, time lapse, no, but night lapse, stars everywhere. Epic sunrise in the morning. Yeah, fingers crossed, that's what we're up for. Well, in a minute, that's what we're looking at. It's looking a tad unlikely, isn't it? But, you never know, you never know. I'm not too sure if the uh, the audio worked on my little intro piece on the way up. Um, so, <clears throat> if it didn't, there's a back up. Here we go. I am now sitting on the summit of uh, Mole Shabbat. I'm out with Phil. Oh, six Phil. You'll all know him. <laughs> Obviously, that's why it's pouring down the rain. We are thick grey clag. Pouring rain all the way up, howling gale. Typical full weather, to be honest. But yeah, well, like I say, we're on the summit of Mo Shabod. Uh, 
uh, the weather forecast is, to be honest, to pick up later on. Um, so, like I said earlier, it's bright blue skies. Not bright blue skies. Bright clear skies overnight, so hopefully some stars out. Uh, sunrise in the morning. But for now, um, I'm kind of stuck. Stuck in here on my Todd. What a billion know, mates. But, luckily, luckily, I have brought some, uh, a couple of beers, some snacks. So, later on this evening, after tea, we'll, uh, we can get on with that. Um, in the meantime, it's just me, sat in here on my Todd. Got a few tunes playing. Uh, I'm just trying to think of things that I can, <laughs> I can film. I don't have a time lapse running outside, but <laughs> what's the point? It's just thick grey clag, uh, thick, thick grey clag. Oh, I'm a bit stuck. I'm a bit stuck, to be honest. But, but, joys are welcome. Anyway, fingers crossed, you'll get better later on. But anyway, there you go. I'll catch you in a bit. What are you doing, your board? Let's crack a beer on. Let's crack a beer. Nothing exciting, no even monk, no even star. Usual. Had this plenty of times before. Let's just crack it open in the, uh, in the porch. Don't want to go in everywhere. Oh. Cheers, guys. It's good. Absolutely pooning down, pooning down. Here's a Tony's top tip for you. If you're ever asked to go out camping with uh, Mr. Ormisher, make sure you bring an umbrella. Tony's top tip for you. Oh. I think we've put it off long enough. What are we on now? Seven o'clock. It's tea time. I think. Usual though, to be honest, to be fair. But you found chicken tikka. Always good. Can't mess with the classics. To go with it though, a bit different. I found some. Uh, bang bang Asian style rice. Chinese inspired hot and spicy rice with sweet, tangy, and savory flavors. Bang bang rice. See how that goes. What now? We'll just get it, uh, get this pan boiling up. And then we'll uh, get it on. Get it on. More quality content from Tony Noble outdoors. Boiling water. How do you get over that, eh? Mint. Hmm. No. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's tea done. Ted the saw, couple of episodes, watch to that. We're now on, what time are we on now? 20 past eight. I think we'll have a quick, a quick squeeze outside and let's see what's, uh, let's see what's going on out there. One second, let's just spin you around. Spin you around. It's starting to calm down a bit. Ooh. I can see lights down there. Lights down there. 
no stars as yet. Yeah. Definitely getting better. Definitely getting better. Fingers crossed. Uh, nice to get out. There's a, uh, like you can see, we've now got ice all over the uh, inside of the tent. That's how we on now. Quarter to one. Quarter to one in the morning. I still have done the uh, beer and snack review. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not going to do the. I'm not going to do the beer. Uh, I'm not drinking a beer at quarter, pa quarter to one, just for just for effect. But what I will do, I'm not going to eat it, but I'll uh, I'll show you what I brought. I'll show you what I brought. And actually, no, I'm gonna have a bit of it. I'm lying. I'm lying. What I brought? Some boozy balls. Boozy balls. Chocolate balls. Mm. What's going on here? Harvey Nichols. There's a bit of hard work. Ah, that's what. I've got one. I've got one of my balls. Mmm, that's a devil. Mmm. Yeah. Not where I was expecting to go. I've always my uh, boozy balls. What better? What better? I thought. Chocolate. Let's give it a whirl. I thought we'd have some nuts. Now I did have some Nobby's nuts. But uh, Mrs. N's had them. So I got some uh, Mr. Filberts instead. And then she had a double with them as well. So, unfortunately, these are now nobby's nuts. They're actually Scar's uh, sweet chilli peanuts. Not quite nobby's, but... You have to make do men. Don't dabble with these bad boys. Not giving that chocolate. Chocolate's not, sir. Not floating my walk. Boozy balls and nuts. Hmm, not bad. Let's try that one. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. That's right. Chocolate. Chocolate number two. I'm not going to put the rest away. No. Not remotely boozy. Sad, sad disappointment there. Harvey Nichols. You let yourself down. Put them away. A few more nuts. And then I thought, well. Oh. I'm sure I'm not missing them out. Hmm. Not some chocolate. Hmm, alright. So, thought, okay. What can I have? What can I go? I'm on boozy bogs. Nobby's nuts. What could possibly go better? With Nobby's nuts and chipolata sausage. Yeah, no. Oh. 
Mm. Delicious. There you go. Well done, Nobby. Mm. Oh, no, then. Hang on. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I get the other stuff. Sausages, and they are mint. Mm. I do like a cold sausage. Mm. Oh, they are good. Highly recommended. Forget your, uh, forget your boozy balls. I'm sure Nobby's nuts are far better than the uh, spars, but yeah, I'm not really kidding them either. But. Sausage. That is a winner. Hmm. Anyway, I'll finish these off. And I'll hit the sack, and I'll see you guys first thing in the morning for uh, hopefully a bit of sunrise. Stick around. I'll see you there. Good morning, everybody. Well, half past six in the morning. It's uh, it's a bit chilly. There's a bit of uh, see that. nice on the uh, you know. I've uh, I've already stuck my head out the door. To be honest, it's big, thick, grey clag. Oh, I think the last night's astro was a bit uh, a bit of a temporary uh, break in the clouds, but hopefully. Hopefully, we get up, it's all pointed again, and we get some decent sunrise. But for now, I think it's the uh, first brew of the morning. <sighs> Highly necessary. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Not looking too shabby. I think we're literally sitting on top of the clouds. You can see them just wisping past. Makes me think the clouds are down there and potentially we're sitting on top of an inversion. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Fills up. He's over there. Moon. Can you see that somewhere? It's over there. Just disappeared around that bank of cloud. But yeah. Well, hang on. There it is. Can you see that now? Hang on. I'll show you. Where we are. Oh yeah. I think the moon last night spoiled any uh, chance of any stars, but. I think we might got a time lapse of the uh, moon. But anyway, <coughs> I think we'll now just uh, get the camera set up somewhere and see if we can grab a few forties. This is more like it. Sun just popping up over my head. The moon is over there, just behind me. And the summit. As you can see, you've got the uh, uh, trig point and the wind shelter. Just up there. That's the summit of Moshabad. But yeah, look at this. This is absolutely what we're here for. This is all I like it. Glory 
Where's that? That way. That's our uh, that's our path home. Ah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, I need to stop uh, papping on, and let's try and get uh, a few forties. Well, it turned out all right after all, didn't it? Turned out all right after all. I was a bit skeptical. At least we got to see where we are. It's now just time to uh, have these. Eat the porridge. And then we'll pack up and ship out. That's all pitched up. As ever, nothing left. Make sure I've got all the pegs. Jobs are good. Just there. <laughs> a not icy patch of grass there. But yeah, I think it's a bit right that way. I think it's all worked out in the end. A bit grim yesterday. But uh, at least morning, more than made up for it. But yeah, what we've got to do now. Get these bags on and get ourselves down. That ridge over there, right down. That's where we're heading. Straight over the top of there. Should sure be fine. Well, there's that. He's one bold really ridge. That surface of the moon. Ah. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of leg breakers there. And it's uh, being a bit icy as well doesn't really help. So unsteady. Push your putting feet. I'm going down on my arse to be honest. But yeah. Just be careful. Spectacular though. Spectacular though. Down there, that's the quarry workings. We came up the path there. This is the quarry that way. And we followed that path. We now though, we've obviously got to get ourselves back down there. Hopefully, that's the worst bit done. That was a nightmare up there. Definitely like breaker. Well, 
Well, that's where we've just been. Oh man, that was a tough descent. But yeah, last leg now. Home, home stretch. But yeah. How stunning is that? That's us back on the track. And we'll call that the uh, circuit complete. The rest of the walk now is just a replica of the way we came up, so I'll bring you back when we get to the van, etc. I'll see you there. Right, well. <laughs> I've just had to bring you back. Um, I've just realised I'm putting the finishing touches to the video that you just watched. And quite clearly, I was that knackered when I got back to the van that I completely forgot to fill my closing sequence. Um, so, rather than uh, leave it as it was, I thought I would, uh, I would film it now whilst I'm sat here editing away. So, what I would like to say is thank you very much, Phil. It was a top, top weekend. Started up a bit grim, but I think it worked out right in the end. So thank you very much, mate. Uh, I'll put Phil's uh, link to his video, which is already live in the description below. Uh, link to his channel as well. Um, I'd also like to apologize for some of the video uh, quality in the video. I tried to experiment just using the uh, DJI Action 3 all the way through uh, rather than the uh, normal camera that I would use and I think some of the footage uh, has turned a bit noisy, a bit grainy so I'll not be doing that again but that aside thank you all very much for watching um, fingers crossed I'll see you next time bye 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 bye